In this episode, we visit the second wonder of the Kerbal system, the single satellite of Eve, Gilly. So that was Gilly, um, very very low gravity, which makes it interesting to land on, to say the least. Um, the nav ball becomes pretty much useless when you're close to the ground because the rotation throws your bearing off, so you have to sort of land by feel, which is not too much of a problem because everything happens in such slow motion landing on there. So um, getting there, same as before, rockets, same probe. Um, which actually means I had a lot of fuel. You don't need this much fuel. It's just because it's the same fuel that needs to get to Moho and everywhere else. And I'm just using the same pattern ship. So I've left Kerbin in the retrograde like before. Now I've judged exactly how far I need to be ahead of Eve here. So I can get capped on the first time round. Because it's much easier to judge with Eve. I've decided to visit Gilly as our second wonder. Because I see no reason why I can't hop the probe down onto Eve as our third wonder. So this is a double episode. Um, I'm just going to pop a manoeuvre node here, now I'm free of the influence of Kerbin, and just fine tune this orbit to see if we can get a capture first time round. And there it is, so it wasn't far off. It's always best to line up with Eve first I think. As you come into the system you'll notice that Gilly's orbital plane is way off the ecliptic. So I like to line this up visually and then pick the point at which our orbits cross and from here you can use this as a pivot and this manoeuvre node to then level you up and then any fine tuning you can do from the ascending and descending nodes and then you want to get the far side of your orbit there to just clip the orbit of Gilly and then when you've got that lined up it's a simple case of laying a manoeuvre node at the point at which you're closest and then adjusting your prograde velocity until when you come around to this point again you'll be having an encounter with Gilly in a way you can't miss so I'm bringing those two points closer together until they touch and then you can check the distance at which you are apart at that point in this case it's barely a hundred meters so that is how I got here <laughs> 